Buck Wondrous was a dreamer in a world that had forgotten how to dream. From a young age, he was captivated by the arts, painting, cinema, music, and literature. He believed that the fusion of human creativity and artificial intelligence could unlock new realms of artistic expression. Yet, the loud world of inexperience seemed allied against his vision. Everywhere Buck turned, he encountered skepticism. Traditional artists scoffed at the idea of AI encroaching on their sacred domains. Critics dismissed AI-generated works as soulless and mechanical. Even his friends and family questioned his relentless pursuit. You can't replace the human touch with machines, Buck, they said. Art is about emotion, about soul. How can a computer ever understand that? He began with music, collaborating with an AI to compose symphonies that blended classical motifs with futuristic sounds. The AI analyzed countless compositions, learning the nuances of harmony and melody, while Buck infused each piece with his unique emotional insight. The result was music that transcended genres, evoking emotions both profound and unexpected. Next, Buck turned to visual art. He fed the AI a vast library of art history, teaching it the styles and techniques of masters from every era. Together, they created paintings that combined the surrealism of Dali with the abstraction of Kandinsky, all while maintaining a distinctly modern flair. Critics who initially scoffed were now intrigued, unable to deny the originality and depth of the work. Cinema was Buck's greatest challenge. He envisioned films where AI could assist in script writing, storyboarding, and even directing, creating immersive experiences that resonated on a deeply human level. He started with short films, using AI to craft intricate narratives that wove together complex character arcs and visually stunning scenes. His films began to garner attention at indie film festivals, praised for their innovative storytelling and emotional impact. Literature was where Buck made his final stand. He collaborated with AI to write novels that explored the human condition in ways never before imagined. The AI offered structure and consistency, while Buck injected heart and soul. Together, they produced works that were celebrated for their originality and depth. But Buck had one final card to play, a grand exhibition that would showcase the full spectrum of his AI-assisted artistry. He rented a large gallery space in the heart of the city and transformed it into a multi-sensory experience. Visitors were greeted by AI-composed symphonies as they entered, setting the tone for the journey ahead. The walls were adorned with AI-assisted paintings, each telling a unique story through vibrant colors and intricate details. In a dedicated theater room, his AI-crafted films played on a loop, drawing viewers into worlds both familiar and fantastical. And in a cozy reading nook, Copies of his AI-collaborated novels were available for perusal. The exhibition was a sensation. People from all walks of life came to experience the fusion of human and machine creativity. Critics who had once dismissed Buck's vision now hailed him as a pioneer, acknowledging the undeniable emotional power and originality of his work. In the end, Buck Wondrous didn't just prove the value of AI in the arts, he redefined it. He showed the world that AI, when used as a tool of collaboration, could enhance and elevate human creativity, opening new horizons for artistic expression. The loud world of inexperience fell silent, replaced by a chorus of awe and admiration. Buck's vision had become a reality, and the arts would never be the same again.